You're listening to the Infinite Banking Mastery Podcast. Did you know that you could build a tax-free pool of wealth that's liquid and accessible all your life while building your retirement nest egg? Gain full control of your financial future and stop relying on the government and banks. The wealthy have already discovered this wealth building secret. Now it's your turn to get financially secure without following the conventional wisdom that keeps you in debt to banks. Now here's your host, Valerie LaRoque. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Infinite Banking Mastery podcast. Thank you again so much for being here. I really appreciate you. So how do I start infinite banking? I feel like people might have this question. They might be wondering what the process is for beginning. Um, What are the steps? What do we hope that you will, will do on your end? And so reading Nelson Nash's Becoming Your Own Banker, that is a step one. If you have not read that book yet, even though I've mentioned it many, many times, and I'm sure you've heard it, heard of it or seen about it in other things that you've watched or listened to, it is the foundational book. Like it was the first book ever written on this topic and has some really solid information for you to learn from. And then, and if you've read that book before we were to meet, it might bring up additional questions that you would want to ask. It will lay a good foundation of understanding. And if you don't understand, then we can cover those things or certain concepts that you may not have grasped in the book or your reading. And so I think that's a, a definite first step. Most practitioners will require that you've read a book, and that's an IBC practitioner, in case you didn't catch that. Most IBC practitioners will require that you've read Nelson Nash's book or some sort of book. Some practitioners have written books and then they want you to read their book first, but some sort of reading. And certainly I think that Nelson Nash's book is is very solid. It's It's a strong book. It's where we all have learned from. Anybody who's written anything at first really came from him on this strategy. So reading a book, that's a good first step. It will help you when we're having a conversation. It will help you to have a better understanding of what I'm saying. If someone's trying to learn cold who has not read anything or listened to anything, it it is a lot harder to teach. Sometimes one spouse has read and the other has not. And sometimes it can be overwhelming for the spouse who has not read the book and is trying to learn all the information, like learning it at once on a one-on-one appointment. So it saves time for you and saves frustration for you to have that foundational understanding. So step one, read Becoming Your Own Banker. Step two would be to, um, well, listen to podcasts, listen to my podcast. I'm grateful that you have, and I, I know that there's some other good ones out there, but it helps you to understand, especially if you've done some reading, it helps to kind of solidify some of that reading. But I would say it doesn't replace the reading. I still think that reading is very important and a good idea. It is important for you to, take some responsibility in your learning, to be an active participant, being embracing the learning, being willing to learn. Uh, it's going to help you to understand when you're beginning and in the long run. I don't want somebody to just come in and just blindly, completely want to just move forward with, and with trust and faith. I, I mean, that's really great. I'm cool. Thanks. I appreciate that you have so much trust and faith, but I want you to understand because I don't want you to come back a few months later confused about something or frustrated about something because you did not have a solid understanding from day one. So I want to make sure you understand well. After you have some learning under your belt, the next thing to do would be to schedule a call. I have been meeting with clients over Zoom. And so a lot of times people will reach out with my email because I give it on these podcasts. They will reach out and then we will be able to schedule a call, a Zoom call together so that I can share my screen and answer your questions. And then we can have a a meeting where we can make sure of your understanding and so that I can help you further. And on this call, on our first call, it's going to be important that I learn as much as possible about you. Oftentimes I will request statements of your different accounts so that I can see exactly what's going on and what type of account you have. I will want to know what type of insurance you have, if you already have life insurance, even if you have disability insurance or long-term care insurance, all that's important for me to know. 
And if you have life insurance, I want to know what type it is and how much coverage do you have and how much do you think you should have altogether? Because figuring out your total death benefit when we are undergoing this process is very important as well so that we make sure we hit your death benefit goals if you have a family and have people you want to protect in addition to simply utilizing the infinite banking strategy with a whole life policy. We also want to address your life insurance needs and make sure that they are met. I will want to know about your family, if you're married, if you have kids, if you have a spouse and maybe they're not haven't been learning alongside of you or learning as much as you, it is still a good idea to have your spouse on the call so that he or she can be understanding and being able to ask their questions and and be in the loop. I don't want that person to be completely out of the loop unless they so choose so that they can be understanding as we move along the process what's going to happen. So I want to know about your family. If you have children, do you expect to pay for college? Uh, do you have resources you're already saving up for that? Do you have an account like a 529 or something else you're already doing? Or would you want to utilize the infinite banking process for that as well? Do you have debts you want to eliminate? That's helpful knowledge and how much you're paying towards those debts versus how much you are overpaying maybe. And that sometimes is we get a little more into depth on the debt. If that's a, a goal of yours to pay off debts, we usually get into that more in depth once you are working with me, uh, we've got the contract started so that um, I can help you prioritize what you're going to pay off and when and how all of that's going to work. But it is good to know if that's a priority for you to pay off and those balances and those payments. I'm going to want to know your retirement goals. What age do you plan to retire? What have you been doing so far to reach those goals? Do you have accounts set up for retirement through your work? What do those balances look like? How much are you putting towards those? Do you or your spouse have a coveted pension? Sometimes we can plan for maximizing that pension using whole life policies and the infinite banking concept, which would just make everything that much better for you. Do you have a long-term care policy? Do you uh, expect to take care of your parents? That's another thing that's important to know. Do you expect an inheritance? Uh, do you have long-term disability as an individual policy or at your work? Do you know what your work benefits are? Do you have work benefits and do you understand them? If not, that is certainly something that I can uh, look into with you and help you understand. What types of savings goals do you have? Are you saving already or do you have emergency funds set up or already saved up? And or do you have an amount you're saving monthly? If you have a business, is your business partner covered? What is your business structure? Do you have key man insurance? Do you have a buy-sell agreement? These are the kinds of questions that I'm going to want to know and I'm going to try to learn from you when we're first meeting because I really need that overall picture I want to be able to see the whole picture of your current financial situation, your goals and your concerns, your needs, your future needs. Are you planning uh, any big purchases in the future? Uh, your child getting married, going to college? Do you have a car you're trying to purchase? You're planning vacations? All that stuff is important when I'm structuring a policy for someone because I want to make sure that we are addressing their goals and that we are taking into account their ability to pay premium, how much they can start with, how much they'd be able to continue doing. Sometimes people have money sitting somewhere like in a CD or in a savings account or something, and we can use to help jumpstart your infinite banking policy. We can use those funds, but I want to make sure we are taking into account everything that's important to you and, um, and making sure that the timing of things is going to work out for when you're going to ac need to access that policy or if you're going to need funds right away, what if you have some sort of big purchase you want to do or something important that's coming up in your life and you're going to need all these funds right away? We want to make sure that you have access to the funds that you need, whether we're able to utilize them for your infinite banking policy all at once or have to spread it out over time. It's just a good idea to get a great picture of everything that's going on so that I can advise well. Without all the information, you're not going to get good advice. You're not going to get personalized advice. It's just going to be 
someone telling you, yeah, here, move forward with this policy because you're telling me you can do this much, but it may not be the best it can be for you, the best fit and in your best interest. So having a clear picture of your goals, your life goals, your goals you have that are going to be soon or priorities that you have coming up sooner than later, all of that's going to be great to know. And the good thing is too, is that I can help you holistically. I help people in in a lot more ways than just with the infinite banking concept, because I want to make sure that you're protected in every way that you could be and, um, and that you're just aware of the other products and things out there that can help you to be better prepared for life's surprises, tragedies that come up, disabilities, you never know what can happen, but I am able to help you more holistically and for the long term beyond just the infinite banking concept. So we can take a look at the whole picture. So once you've scheduled a call and we're on a Zoom call together and we're talking, this is the kind of information I'm going to want to learn about you as much as possible. And also we'll give you an opportunity to ask your questions. We can cover things from the book, different concepts if you've done the reading and just help make sure and solidify your understanding. Then once I have an idea of that picture of what everything looks like in your financial life, I can construct something for you that would work for you and your family that would be an idea or two based on the information you've given me that we can then look over together and figure out if that's a good fit for you. It can be more like a a starting point where I construct a couple of things, we look it over, and, and then we can go from there whether we need to make some adjustments or not. So the next step... After we've met, I've learned about you, we've, you've had a chance to fully understand what's going on with the infinite banking concept, to ask your questions, and I've had um, an opportunity to teach you some things that I feel are important for you to know. And the next step would be underwriting. So you would go through underwriting, and, and that would be to complete an application with a life insurance company. There are different types of underwriting that you can do if you have great health. Sometimes we can do an accelerated version where you don't have to have a nurse come over to your house or anything because that's usually part of it. Everybody's favorite part, of course. So you would have an application. We would complete that application and then you would be either able to go through underwriting very quickly. If with the accelerated version, they will do a soft credit check. I just like to throw that out there. And with the full underwriting, then that's when a nurse comes over and she will take blood and urine, to make sure you are not dying today. They want to make sure they are covering people who are in okay health. That doesn't mean that you have to have a perfectly clean history and and health record. Certainly people have different things they are dealing with. Most often underwriters want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, that you're taking action for things you've been diagnosed with. Maybe if you're supposed to be on blood pressure medication, they want to see that you are either doing it or that you've managed to reduce your blood pressure on your own by healthy eating and exercise. They just want to make sure you are doing okay. So don't think that just because you've had some doctor's appointments or surgeries or high blood pressure or high cholesterol that you are uninsurable. That is usually not the case. And sometimes, and if you've had cancer or something, may take a few years, up to five years or so for you to be able to be covered just depends on the stage of cancer and and how all of that whole thing went for you. But certainly we can have a conversation and see if that's a possibility. So once you've applied for the insurance, you've gone through underwriting, you've been approved now, then we touch base on your overall plan, make sure it is what you want it to be. Maybe you've had um, some surprise, a bonus come through or something, you'd like to make some changes Or maybe something's happened where you need to make a reduction in what we first put forth through with the insurance company on the application. So we can make those changes. You are not committed to what we put through an underwriting. When you apply, we can make whatever changes we want once you are approved. So then once you have your contract, you've been approved, you've decided we finalized what you would like to do, your plan, and you are moving forward, and then you've got your plan in place, then I become your IBC coach. I don't expect to help you, make you a client, and then say, okay, nice knowing you. Uh, I'll talk to you in 10 years. That's not the case. I expect that if you have questions or when you're ready to take a loan or if you have a question about how to repay it, that you would reach out and we will help you understand that and help you get through it, help you take loans if necessary, or help you understand the process. And certainly we can have an annual review 
and go over everything. And really, it will be up to you if you want to have those annual reviews or maybe every year and a half. But certainly, I don't want you to feel concerned about being confused during the process. You certainly can reach out, and I will always be happy to help you understand um, or answer questions, myself or my team. And so that's really it. That's the process of how to get started with infinite banking. I wanted to clarify that process for you just so you have an understanding of what it all looks like when you want to move forward and, um, and the information that I will hopefully be able to gather from you so that I can help you the best that I can. So if you're feeling that you are ready, you're ready to move forward, you've read Nelson's book, you've listened to podcasts, you've done a lot of learning, and you are ready to look at what a plan will look like for you and have a consultation so we can talk about what's the best fit for you and what makes sense for you, please reach out to me, Valerie at alphaomegawealth.com. I would love to be your IBC advisor and coach and help you put together this awesome strategy that is so, so powerful and can be amazing in your life. Well, so I will talk at you again next week. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Until next time. This is the podcastfactory.com.